Hello everyone, I'm Mike and we are going to be installing this inexpensive remote control switch module. It will be used to open the downstairs entrance door to the apartment building I'm currently living in. Please note that this is more of a product review on how to use it. I bought the assemble device so we don't have to do everything from scratch. This is a wireless remote control switch module with two remote controls and one receiver and I'll be demonstrating all the possible ways you can use this device. Opening the plastic case and having a quick look at the circuit, it looks decently designed and the price tag seems to match the construction of the product. This is a very simple one channel wireless remote control switch. Inside we have a relay that is able to handle up to 250 volts AC at 10 amps. I'll be linking several different variants in the description below, which should operate about the same way. Just be aware that some of them can't be directly connected to the mains. The working frequency for this radio control device is 315 MHz. I do recommend that you get a 433 MHz variant, though as it has better range and it's legal in way more countries. This module can be connected directly to the main, so I started by cutting a piece of cable, correctly connecting the live and neutral wires to the L and N connection from the device, and then connecting the two wires to a mains plug and plugging it in. Both remote controls seem to work right out of the box, but we will be pairing them from the beginning for the sake of demonstration. To pair a remote just hold down the button for a bit until the LED starts blinking. Then press one of the buttons on the remote and it should be paired. As easy as that. There are three different modes. Jog, Top Lock and Interlock. To change modes you have to set the jumper on the module to the correct position. To show you the different ways this module can be used, I set up a small circuit with an LED that lights up whenever the two wires you connect to it are connected or not. Before going any further, let me explain as quick and simple as possible how the relay on this module works. There are three contacts, the common, NC or normal closed, and NO or normal open. Basically the common is the one that moves between the other two. In simple terms, the common contact is moved by an electromagnet. When there's no power going to it, the common connects to the NC contact. When there's current flowing through its coil, the common connects to the NO contact. For this example, we will be using the LED as a reference to whatever you decide to connect this module to. For example, the door opening button, or your house gate, or an apartment door. Starting with the jog mode, when you press and hold the button you paired, the LED is on. When you loosen your finger on the same button, the LED is off. This mode only requires one button to operate, leaving the other one free to be used in other compatible modules. Then we have the self-lock mode. When you press the button you paired, the LED changes to the opposite mode it is currently in. For example, press once, it will stay on, press it again and it will stay off. It also only requires one button to operate. Finally, we have the interlock mode, which uses two buttons, one to set the LED to on and the other one to set the LED to off. This mode needs the two buttons on the remote control. The way I connected this module to open the downstairs door to my apartment was by opening the intercom and finding the two wires that open the door when connected. To find this out, you will either need to check the manual for your intercom or you will need a multimeter and set it to resistance, then measure the resistance between all wires and find out the one that goes to zero when the opening door button is pressed. After adding the two new wires to the intercom, it was time to close it and connect them to our receiver. We will be using this on jog mode, as we only want the door to be open when the button is being pressed. 
So if you're doing the same, don't forget to recheck if the jumper is in the correct position. We just need to connect one of the wires to the COM or COMMON and the other one to the NO contact. After that, we just need to close everything and don't forget to leave the antenna outside for a better range. Connect the module to power and it's finally time to test it. From outside I just grab the remote control, press the button and we're in. The range for this module is decent but not as good as a 433 -1. I live on the first floor and my apartment is on the opposite side of the street. Between the front door and the receiver it's about 30 meters or 100 feet with at least 3 concrete walls in between and it works perfectly. If you have troubles with the range you may try playing around with the antenna to try to get better range. It is worth noting that this kind of devices no matter what frequency are not very safe. You can easily clone the signal from this control and replicate it. Do let me know if you're interested in knowing how to create a secure wireless remote control switch. Thank you very much for watching, if you have comments or suggestions leave them below, have an amazing day, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.